Hello, this is Iron Crow, and you are... I guess you're watching Gazillion's Game, and I don't know who watches this shit. Probably nobody. Put out a Hearthstone video a couple weeks ago. It's got like three fucking views at this stage. All three of those views were me. Whatever. I drafted a, an arena deck probably like three weeks ago, and I haven't actually played it yet. That's what we're going to do here. I'm going to see... What I drafted, I don't even remember what class it was. Shaman. Okay, I went shaman, and what did I, what did I do here? Um, for shock for it, lightning. Okay, double hexes, lightning storm. Got good removal here, I guess. Double wind speakers for some bloodlust, funny business, demolisher, pint size storm, bluegill warrior. Huh. This deck doesn't look too terrible. Here we go. Hearthstone. Heroes of Warcraft. Arena run. Your, de your arena deck expires when you lose three games. That is indeed true. So for those who are watching, which you aren't watching, who don't know what arena is in Hearthstone, it is a game mode where you draft deck you draft a deck of 30 cards same as the normal game but you are given a choice of three cards for each of your 30 slots so what i did was i chose cards to make my deck and the rules of um See. Keep fork lightning. Keep pint size. So I'll keep that. The rules of the arena allow things that are very unusual or even impossible in constructed play. Ready for action. Awesome. Goldshire fucking footman. Really annoying that he was able to get that out. But whatever. So. I can pull in my draft more than two of the same exact card, which you normally cannot do. So, cool thing about that is it makes Arena very, very unpredictable. So, let's see. I have a three cosplay. No, I do not. So, kill that stupid taunt and end the turn. I don't think I have three of any card in this deck. I didn't really pay attention. I just, just little did a little glance. Damn, I can get an ancient fucking brewmaster out right now because of that pint-sized summer. But instead, I'm going to do that. Let's hit him. So, let's see. Got a coin that I can use to make some cool shit happen. He's gonna use two mana to heal that thing. That'd be a weird play, but hey, that's what he thinks is best. Why is he not playing any cards? Okay, he's gonna kill that. Thing is, he can't really play anything else. Unless he's got a two-cost creature, and he doesn't. So, that was a really strange decision on his part. So, let's do this. Let's hit him. And I guess I gotta use the Ancient Brewmaster to get something decent on the field. He can Shadow Word Death it. But if he does that, that's the only thing he can do on his turn. Because I think it's a five cost card. And I'd rather have him Shadow Word Death on something that's barely within its range. Okay, Fang Creeper, that's annoying. Got two Forked Lightnings, which don't help. Let's see. He's got just enough health that I can't kill him. I don't have any removal. So, unfortunately... I'm not going to be able to do anything to him right now. I'm just going to have to end my turn. 
I think fork lightning requires two enemies to work, sort of like, um, okay, that's annoying. I think it requires two enemies to work like cleave. Which I will probably smite. Okay. I don't know why he did that. And I can just hex it now. Thank God. I think I'm gonna fork lightning here. And let's heal this guy up. That way I could kill it and still have it alive, so he's gonna have to use something extra to make it uh, not die. I mean, to kill it. Make it not die, that's what he wants to do, make it die. See what he's got, thought steel. Annoying. Wasn't that awesome? Pulled a fucking earth shock. Oh great, I got powerful shit in my hand. Don't like the idea of him pulling one of those at all. Don't like him having any, any of those. Oh, and I'm locked. But I can coin out something here. Boulder fist over. You probably shot a word deaths. Nothing you can do about that. I'd rather have a shot a word death that maybe than a taunt. I don't know. Yep. Mind control. Even fucking worse. I don't have the means to fucking kill it. So, strangle some more tiger. Hope that's a taunt. It isn't. Playing against priests is so annoying. Because they just mind control something. I don't have any more removal right now. Yeah, he, he stole a wind speaker. Which is annoying. Gonna have to kill it. Can I kill him this turn with a Direwolf Alpha Bloodlust play? Let's see. That's three, eight. Eight on the field. Bloodlust what to do? would be four times three, twelve. Plus, plus the eight that's already there. Yeah, he's dead. And then Direwolf Alpha. So let's put the Direwolf Alpha right here. Bloodlust. And he's dead. So, first game of Arena is a win. Thanks to one of those lame ass Bloodlust plays that shamans are known for. But whatever. That's just the way the class is played. You do these massive bursts of damage. That's why you can't allow a shaman to get that many creatures on the field. Because you get ridiculous plays like that. So his mind control fortunately went out. It's a good thing I played that. Is this the same guy? I, I didn't even pay attention to his name the first time. It's a good thing that I put out the Boulderfist Ogre instead of the Taunt. Because then I wouldn't have been able to do that. And get rid of all of these cards. Blue Guild Warrior could be useful. Hex right off the bat, thank goodness. Because priests like to do these big buff plays on single creatures. Can be kind of nasty, unless you can just hex it. So, nothing I can do on this turn. 
Rock by your weapon is extremely bad use. Greetings. Greetings, I used to always greet people, but I don't anymore because people are dicks like that. He's got two mana. What's he going to do? Just heal himself. He's collecting cards for some big play. I don't like it. Okay, Leopard Gnome comes out. As does a totem. Useless fucking totem. Because it's healing stuff that only has one health. Do we like having an Earth Shock for additional protection against Mega Buff plays? But I don't think he can do any of those plays just yet. Fight spawn. So, how can I kill this? I can... Rock Biter and Crate. No, that would kill it. Um, let's see. Oh, Rock Biter is just three. I don't know what I was thinking. So, let's do this. I don't need a taunt just yet. So, let's summon a toad when I get a taunt anyways. Forget how much Holy Nova is. Four or five mana. That would wipe my board, but he wouldn't be able to play anything else. Just gonna heal. Weather the storm, I guess. Oh, <laughs> demolish! I forgot I even had that. Yeah, we'll play the demolisher and a totem. Job done. He's allowing me to get way too many creatures on the field. If I had like a bloodlust, which I don't, it would be devastating right now. So see if he holy novas, yep. Eliminates, eliminates everything except for my demolisher. And it gets healed up. <laughs> so that's actually a good totem to get in that situation, because if he has another holy nova, it doesn't kill the demolisher. So he won't be doing that, I assure you. RB Cowl. Annoying, but we must cleanse the sun. Not too worried about it. So I think Fork Lightning comes out. More lightning storm. Let's see if I can get a Wrath of Air Totem. Nope. Should I Lightning Storm? I mean, I don't have anything else to play, really. So let's just Lightning Storm. Damn it. It's hoping to do three damage to that. Let's keep the board clear. Keep putting stuff on the field. Keep his side of the board clear, I mean. Seven mana. What could he do? Holy Nova again. Joe and Yeti. Don't mess with Razor Fan Hunter. Just use my lightning storm, so. Hex. Anything cool I can do with X? Hmm. Might hex the, uh... Yeah, let's hex this, because I got two hexes in hand. Okay. And we hit that. And I get peeled back to full health. 
So I'm running out of cards. I don't know how much card draw I have in this deck. I'm gonna have what seven mana next turn? Okay, doubles its health. Inner fire. Yeah, that just gets hexed. I'm sorry. I could silence it, but no, I'd rather just do this. Okay, Wrath of Air comes out. That's pretty good. Buffs up my air shocks, but I really need to get some fucking creatures. Just gonna heal. Come on, do I have any card draw in this deck? Oh, this is really annoying for him. Summon that. Now he's got taunts galore to get through. Four taunts that he needs to get through. Come on, give me bloodlust, please. I think I have... Might have two bloodlusts. I only have one. He's got so many taunts to get through. It's so, that's gotta be so annoying. Okay. Bloodlust. Here we go. Three attack this turn. So I got five on the field plus three times five, 15. He is dead. These bloodlust plays, man. Once again, bloodlust wins it. Can't let. Shaman get that many creatures, because that's what happens. You get face smashed. Alright, so I'm up two and zero. We're going to do one more game. And then call it. Oh, let me check to see how many bloodlusts I have. Just one. That's nasty. I'd like to have more than one. This is a pretty good deck. I got some uh, Windspeaker. I got some... Uh, Nice uh, potential for, um, shit, Wind Fury plays. So let's see what can happen in this next and third game. You don't have to play all your arena games at once, and I won't be. This is going to be the last one for this video. I almost fought a murloc. Oh god. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Hex. Not as valuable against a rogue. Especially not early game, so we're gonna get rid of that. Hope for something better. Shit. Feral spirit. And I'm going first as well, so I can't get any early feral spirit plays out. Hopefully he can't do anything on turn one either. Be very strange because he has the coin if he couldn't do anything, but let's see. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. I can pull out the Stormforged Axe, which doesn't benefit me at all, so I'm not going to do it. Fortunately, Feral Spirit will be buffed only... Only one of them will be buffed by this Direwolf Alpha due to the fact that I can't get the Direwolf Alpha in between them. So many options. So if he plays something down. Oh, that's gonna overload me. It's annoying. Okay, backstab comes out. Could have you might have found that more valuable against my feral spirit. Okay. Yeah, that that is such an annoying fucking card right there. But we just summon the taunts. And they live against all that. So he's gonna have to use like a 
fan of knives. Plus trade. So that's a very effective counter. Stormforged Axe is a possibility next turn. So depending on if he decides to run his shit into there or not. He'll probably kill at least one of them by pulling out his dagger. He's thinking how to deal with this. It's such an annoying fucking play. I wonder. Hopefully he'll do nothing and he'll like try and wait. Then I can just fork lightning. Hopefully he'll just try and wait it out. We'll see. Okay, so he's got something that can charge. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, one of these rogues. I don't have a lightning storm in hand. But I will fork lightning in this circumstance. Just hit him for two. Thing with Rogue is you want to you want to deal some damage to him because then he'll be more reticent to use his daggers, which is actually why I don't like the Rogue that much because you lose so much health using your dagger ability to remove stuff. For the okay, so he pulls the dagger and he removes it. There's not much I can do here, so I'll probably just need to pull the Stormforged Axe and eliminate that. Because I am still overloaded, and I'm going to be overloaded by one next turn. So yeah, this, this deck is pretty bad in terms of card draw. Argent Commander. I'm actually going to have to hex it. Just kill that. This weapon's not that great. It's only two damage. It's not going to be able to do much in the way of removal at this point in the game. Goes for me. Summons a new dagger. Really? That's it? So I think, draw a card, summon a totem, and I guess I'll just keep the axe in case I can make something happen with it. So it's getting to that point where I'm getting control of the board, he doesn't want me to be there. So let's see what he can do. I wonder. I've got a huge guy. Okay, Stormpike Commando. That's annoying. And I'll take four damage removing it. Or I could just earth shock it. Yeah. And let's get the wind speaker out. Summon the totem. Hopefully it's a taunt. It is. Let's just hit him. Put the fear of God into him a little bit. Fortunately, I don't have any buff cards for this uh, Azure Drake. But it's good to get some damage out. Maybe he'll f use an Assassinate, which costs 5 mana. Okay, I've got a Hex.
annoying, but it still does not kill my Drake. He's going to do a pitiful one damage to me. So what do I get? Ancient Brewmaster. Okay, we're going to Hex. And what else should I do? I think Dragonling Mechanic. Summon a totem. So he is in big trouble. He needs to make something happen. Pronto. Once again, would love to have Bloodlust right now, but I don't have it. Because I only got one in the deck, which is not good. But see what we can do. Family Knives. Mainly uses that for the card draw. Because it only kills one thing. He's fighting for his life right now. That's not going to help him. What are you doing? Okay. So let's see, can I kill him? I can do an Ancient Brewmaster play where I pull out... I pull this back, I do damage with this, three damage, he's down to three. And then I can give Wind Fury to this Dragonling mechanic, which will allow me to do seven damage, killing him. So that is what I will do. Summon that back in, put it back out. Get that Wind Fury. He dies. All right, we're up 3-0 in this arena deck. And he congratulated me on that because that was a pretty clever play. If I don't say so myself. All right. That is the end of this arena video. 3-0. Not what I was expecting to do with this deck, but decent enough. See you next time.